Today, we are going to again continue with Chapter 1 Integers for Class 7 students. Hello and welcome back to my channel Econometrics Day. I am your mentor, your friend Shrujit. So without further delay, let's get started. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. Students of class 7, in our previous part, we studied the properties of addition. You remembered? I know. Okay. Now, today we will study the properties of subtraction. So, today's part is part 7. Okay. So, those who have not watched the previous part, I would like to request them that you first watch the previous parts and then watch this part. Okay. So, today we are going to study properties of subtraction and these properties are very, very important when you are solving the exercise questions. Okay. So, first property is closer property. Okay. Now, what is closer property? Like the properties of addition, here also closer property is what? The difference of two integers. So, two integers if you subtract is always an integer. So, when you subtract two integer, whatever will be the outcome, that is also an integer. Like, that is, if x and y, if you take one integer as x, another integer as y, are integers and if you subtract it, see, I have given one minus sign, x minus y equal to z, then z is also an integer. Let me give one example. For example, okay. So, any integer you can take, you can take 9, okay, minus another integer you can take 5. So, 9 minus 5 is what? 4, okay. Another integer let us take minus 9, okay, and then you take here minus 5 and then you subtract, okay. Two negative integers you have taken. So, when you have taken two negative integers, so what it will come? It will come minus 9 plus 5. So, how much it comes? it comes minus 4. So, here 4 and minus 4. So, 4 and minus 4 are both integers. Integers. So, this is only the closer property of subtraction of integers. Now, we are going to understand the next property that is commutative property. Okay. So, like properties of addition, there was also commutative property. Now, in properties of subtraction also, commutative property is there. Okay. Now, see what is the commutative property, what it is telling. The order of integers while doing subtraction. So, when you are doing subtraction is important because if the order is changed, if you change the order, the results also guess changed. Okay. The result is also getting changed. How? If you take x and y as two integers, then if you take the order x minus y and another one y minus x, then what will be the outcome from x minus y and what will be the outcome from y minus x? It is not equal. Okay. Suppose for example, if I take for example, one example, if I take the uh, concept will be much clearer. So, if I take two integers, suppose let, let me take 9, okay, and another integer is 5, suppose 9 and 5, okay. Now, if I subtract, so how much it comes? 9 minus 5, 4, clear. Now, if I take another one, okay, that means I will change the order. I wrote here 9, then minus 5. Now, if I write 5 and then minus 9, you can see the answer will be minus 4. So, now you can see here this one and this one is not same. So, what I can say 9 minus 5 not equal to 5 minus 9. That means the order when we change in case of subtraction, then the result will be not same. So, from here what we come to know that this when we change the order, it does not hold true. So, this is a counter example okay, to prove to prove that what? To prove that the commutative property of subtraction does not hold true. It is false. Okay. But 
in case of the commutative property for addition it is holding true okay that means it is correct there you change the order the whatever order you change then also the answer will be correct in both the cases but in case of the property of subtraction it will not hold true now we are going to understand the third property associative property like in the properties of addition there was associative property now in the properties of subtraction also associative property is there so what it is telling when grouping of integers is changed while doing subtraction so see while doing subtraction if you change the grouping the result also gets changed that means if you take x y and z three integers then what will happen if you make a group x minus y minus z another one x minus y and then z then both the outcomes will not be equal so not equal to suppose if i take x as uh, example for example for example if i take this one as 6 this one as 5 and this one as 4 so how we will write here 6 minus and then 5 minus 4 so what do you get 6 minus 1 so you are getting here 5 clear again this side you see if you do here 6 minus 5 and then minus 4 so what you get here 1 minus 4 so what you get minus 3 so now you can see here the result the outcome and here they are not equal clear now we are going to come to the fourth property property of 0 so very easy okay when 0 is subtracted to any integer if you subtract 0 okay from any integer then we get the same integer okay that is if x is an integer then x minus 0 is equal to x that means you are getting the same integer suppose for example if i take one example suppose 45 okay and if we subtract 0 so we will get the same integer 45 so this is the property property of what zero clear or no? now students if you like my channel if you are new to my channel i would like to request all of you to please give a like share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe my channel it really motivates me to make more such new videos for you now we will come to the next property now we are going to come to the last property what is that one property of one so when one is subtracted from any integer we get its predecessor okay so what does this mean when you are subtracting one okay from any integer suppose let us take for example for example if you take five okay from here if you subtract minus 1 so what you are getting 4 okay so what we can say therefore 4 is the predecessor of 5 okay now if I want to take another example suppose from minus 5 you are subtracting again minus 1 so what you are getting minus 6 so in this case was what you can write you can write minus 6 so therefore minus 6 is the predecessor of minus 5 clear so whether you take a negative integer or if you take a positive integer also you will get when you subtract 1 what you are going to get you are going to get a predecessor of from which uh, integer you are subtracting suppose if you take a number line okay and this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 so here you have taken 5 so 5 predecessor that means previous one is which one 4 so 4 is the predecessor of 5 I think all the properties you have understood nicely now it's your duty to now practice to know to know the concept of the properties of subtraction agar video acha lage to video ko zyada se zyada students ke saath share karo 
लाइक करो और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलो मिलते हैं और एक नए अच्छे कंटेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय